So in the previous video, I showed you guys how to create a Gray.co account. And in this video, we are going to create a virtual account within our Gray account. And if you look here, I'm already signed into my Gray account. And you can create for British pounds and the euros if you would need those. I probably might create those, but the most important thing for me right now, and I want to use to do the walkthrough, is a US dollar account. So let's do that. So once signed in, you want to go to your account section and click on um, request virtual account under any of the accounts you want to create. So I'm doing for dollars, like I said, and you can see here that some information has already been entered my name, my last name, my, my date of birth. And also I will just take the time to fill in the rest of the information and we can move on. So now, as you can see, I have filled in all the information I need to fill in, but this, there's one last thing that I need to show you, which is purpose of foreign account slash source of income. I've actually tried to do this before and my account was rejected. You can see here, I got this email. I did all of this video before, but it didn't go well because I, my account was not approved. You can see it says your USD account was not approved. And the reason was attached to occupation source of foreign income slash purpose of foreign account. So I was supposed to not only say um, the uh, my occupation or source of my foreign income, but also my purpose of um, creating this foreign account. So if you see here, um, for the purpose of foreign account um, section slash source of income, I only entered freelancer before. So I think that was not enough information. So, but right now I have said for purpose of foreign account, I said to receive my dollar earnings in Naira slash source of income, I have said Fiverr. And for occupation, I said music producer before, but now I have said, I said um, freelance music producer. So I'm trying to give more information and hopefully this will um, work this time, um, but we'll see. Note that you would be unable to change your name once you request what year. I agree to that and I'm going to continue. So next I select a country. Of course, it's going to be Nigeria for me. I'm going to put in my address. So as you can see, I have filled in all my information. If you don't know your postal code, you can just do a quick Google search to find out your postal code for your city and even the area in your city that you live in. And then I have uploaded my utility bill. You can see here it says, please kindly provide a utility bill that is within three months. And then the utility bill could take the form of tenancy agreement, delivery receipt in your name um, to, to the address or bank statement showing the address or NIPA bill and that type of stuff. So you can see here that I have used my account statement. This is the easiest one. You can get your account statement mailed to you in less than a couple of minutes. Let's continue. I'll click on finish here and that will be that. So as you can see, the account has been created and we will see what will happen in the next three to seven business days. And if it goes through, I will come back and show you guys how it went. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.